We're here with Multitech, and uh, who are you? My name's Paul Jager, I'm from Multitech. And uh, what is Multitech? Multitech is a Internet of Things company. We manufacture, well we started with analog cell phones, uh, analog phones, and then we've migrated off to cell phones. So embed enabled uh, LoRaWAN IoT solution for smart agriculture. Yes. What we have here is uh, our endpoints, our M dots, our X dots on a development kit. We have our conduits that gather the information from all the endpoints. And then we have an IP67 conduit so you can stick it outside on top of the building. So LoRa goes very far, no? LoRa, yes. Uh, the range uh, that Semtech quotes is 15 kilometers. 15? 15 kilometers line of sight, absolutely. 868 megahertz is one of the tests that they've done. 868 megahertz, it's the ISM frequency band for Europe, 915 for the US. Why can't they not agree on the same one? That would be an excellent question, and then you can ask why China doesn't agree on that same band also. Which one is China using? China is a 700 megahertz Which band. Which is the best band? Is China using the best one? Everybody has the best band for their region. It was actually separated by the location of the world. Is it one of the bands that has a longer range or...? The lower frequency, the better the distance. But you also need a data throughput on that. So, so the higher frequency, the more data? Higher the frequency, the higher the data throughput. So Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, 2.4 gig, you're going to get a higher throughput versus 900. Which one has the best battery life? Uh, Battery life, if you think about it, your cell phone is going to have a couple of days. Wi-Fi, maybe a week or two. The lower the frequency, the better the long distance. It's also dependent on the processing power. So how much data is, are you throwing through the device? Your battery life, maybe? Uh, it depends on the application. If you had, let's say if you had an X dot, you use sleep mode and you only transmitted a piece of data once a day, you might get years out of the device. It also depends on the battery. It depends on how what technology you're using to charge it. So you have a partner here doing something with plants? Waterbit is using our, our end device hardware. Yeah. So this is like uh, earth and there's a plant. And it's monitoring how much water is in the container. They have a unique sensor that they've written an algorithm for that sees how much water is in there, and then they send that off to the conduit for the gateway, and then they take that information and send it off to their proprietary website. Nice. What's going on with LoRa in the industry? Is it a, is a new uh, big thing that's going to happen? It's actually already happening, sir. Uh, LoRa is huge inside Europe. Yes, they've got public LoRa networks already deployed. They have operators for those public networks, so you can put your device out there and then have access to Since point when charges. did it start in Europe? Years. It's, Year? been, a, it's been a couple of years. A couple yes. years just, but it's already uh, massive over there. It is. Are you, are you targeted to Europe and USA or? Absolutely. Target Europe, USA, the, if you look at the LoRa spec, the LoRa spec is going to have what country code, what frequency band, and the communication strategy associated with it. What, are the, what is this one? This is a micro development kit, so you would stick our M dot on the device, and then you can just plug that straight into the USB port. What's the chip on here? The chip is a, a JTAG programmer and a USB hub. So out of that USB hub, you have two serial ports, one for debug and one for a standard UART communication strategy. And uh, what is this one? That's called dot in a box. What we've done is we've taken the, the dot, the M yeah. dot, we've integrated that in here. We've added several sensors, accelerometer, temperature, pressure, uh, ambient light sensor. And then we put the display on here so that you can actually see if you're communicating to the conduit. That way you can do a remote site management of saying, oh, I'm, I'm this close, I can reduce my power, I can have this sort of a data rate, or if I'm 10 miles away, uh, 10 kilometers away, I can still see it, but I'm at a lower data throughput on the device. What's the maximum data bandwidth? Bandwidth depends on the spreading factor. Uh, we, <coughs> it's, it's all about the payload. 
at the lowest uh, data rate, it's going to be a payload of 11 bytes. At the higher throughput, it's a payload of 242 bytes. Uh, in Europe, they have an SS FSK capability, and that throughput goes much higher. Much higher, like the top of megabits per second or something? No, LoRa is a long range, low power, low data rate technology. It, it's designed for sensor type applications. However, customers, our customers like this one, uh, Blueboard. This is a real product? This is a real product. Actually, this was at the Republican National Convention. <laughs> Whoa! Cool. So, these guys have actually taken large files it's and then transmitted. I'm sorry. I was thinking to go behind here. So, oh, there's a board right here. What solution about Okay. Where's this board? I think the reason that's the development board with an M dot on it. It's getting the Lura communication and sending the serial data to their proprietary board on this e ink platform. This blue ink platform. So there's an e ink with a front light. It looks like there's no front light. This is just no light. No, no. Okay. This is a, their proprietary design for. It's like an e ink. Ah, it's not e ink. But it's not e ink. It is their own e ink maker. And the company name is uh, Blue Board. Is what I call them. Blue Board. Okay. Uh, they right. do have an official name. Oh, you're gonna have to yeah. edit I'll find that it. in. No problem. No problem. So right here, that was in the Republican. What were the Republicans doing with this? Well, when people were trying to figure out which room they should be in, they'd stick this outside the conference room and say, this person at this time for, is, is in this room, the room is occupied. No need to use Wi-Fi. No need to use Wi-Fi. The advantage on this is the low power consumption. Once you write the information in there, it's basically going to sleep. Uh, the smart battery on the back of this thing, uh, the M dot is the only thing drawing the current on it. Once, once it updates the sign, the other device just goes to sleep. In fact, if the smart battery was only attached to the display, it would turn off. Mm. Oh. Cool. So, uh, uh, who's working with Multistep? Who's the customer? We have lots of customers working with us. Uh, anything from agriculture to uh, transportation. Uh, we we do not we don't have a, a single key customer. And uh, we heard the ARM embed booth. So how do you uh, in, in, use embed in here? Embed is actually what we use to program on the devices, the three devices. If you go into the embed.org platforms, you'll see three multi-tech products, the M dot, the X dot, and the Dragonfly. And inside there, you can use the libraries that we've already written to create your own programs on the device. So this way you can add the intelligence of waking up, sensing the device, run the analytics, don't send the data, and come back to sleep, intelligence at the edge, or if it hits an air condition, send the information and wait for a response. How about the embed cloud? Is something you can use? The embed cloud is being worked with the embed people, yes. The embed connectivity, yes. All right. And uh, is there uh, Cortex-M processors in here? or? These both are Cortex-M4s uh, from ST, the 411s. This is going to be an STM 32L151. Uh, the difference is this is 512K of flash, 128K of RAM, and this is going to be less as a, as a result. Yeah, so your application is cheaper. So that means you'll have uh, everything connected. You can, yes. Thousands of things in the agriculture, everything. All the we've, we've done some testing with people, and they've actually deployed uh, the endpoints in the field at Orange Grove and they've communicated two miles back to the conduit. 